story in a strong of story disclaimer my my screen broke so there's like a crack on selfie so it's reflecting that key white but we are manifesting a new camera in 2023 and lights i also lost my ring lights while moving but story for another day for now i want to first apologize oh hi welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i feel like i feel like i am addressing existing subscribers mostly especially those who have been pushing me for content and wait still up down i don't have a mic i don't have a microphone but i hope i am audible where was i <laughs> where was i oh i feel like i'm addressing my existing subscribers because a few of you a lot of you actually not a lot but like three have been asking when i'm not posting and let me tell you inconsistency is the ghetto imagine we are living it in 2022 we are dropping inconsistency we are embracing consistency yeah we are doing that um where was i again <laughs> where was i where was i do i have to cut this one but anyway welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here me neitangwa scholar i'm a miss nyaga i'm a food plug i'm a mama kipenda <laughs> if you want you can call me mama don't let the opportunity pass you uh and i am a hey i'm a skin i'm a skin what I'm still trying to get a word. I'm a skin enthusiast. I am a self-taught chef. I am I am I am a, a singer. I sing. I only do karaoke nights really only. Yeah. But if you feel like you can invest in my talent of singing, please come through. Uh, I'm also a marketer. And actually, the marketing part has something to do with today's story. Uh, and please, if you are new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I promise you, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm not even kidding you. Ha! Ha! Huh? You're not even ready. Anyway, um, please subscribe. Consider subscribing like this video finya your like finya too at kama kwa tv sus nini like please and then you can comment even if it's love emojis you can comment heart emojis you can comment emoji you know just comment show some love <laughs> um at a share you know yeah so it's gonna be interesting for those who have come back, thank you. And keep on. Just keep on. I see your support. I appreciate it. And I'm grateful. Okay? Okay. Let's get to it. So guys, uh I'm not sure the I'm not sure of the title that I'll put to this video. I'll think about it while posting. But in today's video. I want to talk about um, perks of being in sales. Just a story time. I don't know, I might digress. I might, maybe I might include so many short, short stories inside. So please concentrate. <laughs> if you skip a part, you might part to the end of season three and then we come back again to season one. You get me? If you do, shout out. So, this story in answer 2018, it starts in 2018. In 2018, I started working for Cyton Investments as a financial advisor. <laughs> I felt like that title was really heavy and we were really just in sales. But yeah, our job was kind of, yeah, advising people on where to invest their money. And uh I really enjoyed working for Cyton. I did. Do you know, I was having a conversation with my friend, my former colleague at Cyton, 
and we were talking about how we didn't have a salary at the time we were just working on commissions but the working environment was so conducive yani their months had earned like 3000 month ingine na earn like 35k month ingine na earn 700 na umetumia umeenda field your time 700 time ingine uta earn ka 27 42 you know depending on how their months were and we were saying that it didn't really matter where the money would come from like aiko ina matter tu kwa na do tulikuwa tu tuna show up kwa your office and we were so happy we were such a powerful team man saitonye really big up we were such a powerful team working for saiton was very very enjoyable for me and they became more than colleagues we were friends with my colleagues but kama we may not be as close as we used to we show up when any of us needs the other i think so <laughs> i hope people still do but i keep in touch with most uh with majority with most uh so it was really for me i loved working at saiton in Yeri. i really loved working at saiton and it also helped helped me meet amazing people different prospects who give you different perspective perspectives of life um mazi saiton ilinifunza watu wenye wako na doa wakangi kawa kwa na doa you know based on our kawaida measure of how money looks like hey for current time invest 3 million for one year washaka wow <laughs> wow so yeah it it made me meet a lot of interesting people now let's fast forward uh, i don't know do you need a, a description of what i did at saiton our work was basically um, um so saiton used to offer investment packages that would earn clients interest in form of um, money market fund which is still operational and works very well i'd highly recommend for saiton money market fund withdraws a chap chap interest is good reports are monthly and on time so there was that product and then there were other private offers being offered by Saiton that had a slightly higher interest rate compared even to the market rate at the time so they were okay i, I don't want to ingilia that so much but it was basically that you know give us your money for the period that you want to give us for and then we'll give you a competitive interest rate when the period lapses we to me are you your interest if you want to take your money you take it's okay and that money was being invested in real estate those who live in Raka know about Alma so fast forward to 2020 now in 2020 something very funny happened uh in 2020 i oh wait fast forward to 2019 2019 i went through something while I was working and munikumbushe I was kidnapped so please remind me in the comments to post that video as the next story time I was kidnapped in 2019 in May you know I'll give you that story I'll give you that story so from 2019 I developed some kind of attitude towards my job because part of me blamed the job for my kidnapping i was like if i didn't have to go see that client that day if i didn't have to close that deal by the end of that week i probably would have postponed our meeting or i would have dragged it you know anyway so i developed a certain attitude towards the job and uh towards the end of 2019 i started contemplating resigning so now 2019 fast forward to 2020 my friend approached me and asked me to be her kids godmother she was expecting so between she delivered the kid in february this is a, like a kamini story she delivered the kid in february and she was living in anuki at the time so i found myself uh, really wanting to be there for her physically and it tampered with my job you know i was being late for meetings because she's she's a single mom because 
I was going to Nanyuki, you know, I'd take care of her. And then the following morning, maybe I have a meeting. Then she, I'd have to wake up early. Nachelewa kwa matatu. Nachelewa meeting. So I think getting uh, my goddaughter also fastened the process of resigning from Cyton Investments. So I resigned in 2020, officially in 2020, around February, March. Around February, March. There, around there. And then um, I applied to become an independent advisor. So I was still, I was still selling site on products, but independently, you know, out of the company. And uh, I kept, I kept selling. I kept managing my clients' accounts. And come 2020, COVID came. 2020 in March, COVID came. I had just resigned, but I was still managing my clients' accounts as an independent financial advisor. So when COVID came, when it lasted three months, the management decided to roll over existing clients' um, investments for an extra three months. Because of course, sales were going down. People are not purchasing houses. People are, could not afford uh, their monthly installments for the units. It was crazy. So, so at this point, my clients are calling me. So how it used to work is if you if your contract states that uh, your investment will last three months. After three months, you should be able to choose whether to receive the full amount or to receive the interest alone or yani you had the choice so if you if you came for your money before the time lapsed you could not get it ama you could get it with a with a certain ka, ka fine you know a certain percentage cut off eh? i'm i'm consigning the, the right words <laughs> so in this case clients investments have matured covid has come Investors want their money back. My money has matured. Give me. Give me the principal then. You know? Then stay with the interest. Give me the principal. I need money. I'm unemployed. Now remember, our job was to advise prospects and convince. Because that is what sales is. You need to show me the value so that I can buy. So we would... Nisisi tulikuwa tunaingiza wengine box. Like letter do hapo. Unaweza pata 15% hapa. Unaweza pata 18. Just give me. Imagine. You'll go get 7. Uko. For what? <laughs> so. Now clients have started calling. Scholar. Why am I not getting my money? Where is my money? Where is my money? Where is my money? And you would forward them. You would forward them to? A higher authority, of course, your supervisor or your manager or operations team, finance team. Some had special cases, some had <clears throat> it was crazy. Well, what will come make up is their school fees, pesa am jengo, pesa ya pension, as in <coughs> sorry. People were really frustrated. But we kept keeping the hope because we would receive communication that they are working around it. They are working around disposing an asset. They are working around like they were getting all these stories from up and we would disseminate them to our clients. So now, the reason I have decided to give this story is because right now, 31st of December at, uh, I'm not sure what time is it, but, but I think it's around 10 p.m. or so. A client has sent me a message that scholar, I have never forgotten what you did to me. You will reap what you sow. Uh, and something, something. And I was just wondering, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't even digress, but I think a year, because Saiton rolled over client's investment for three months, and then an extra three months. And then a third time, was it six months, and then a year? I don't remember the, 
the order but it was three months three months and then a longer period and then when that period lapsed you remember you told the clients that to my extent for one year we try get some monies here and there or there <laughs> some money is here and that's so why we can be able to pay you your interest or your principal. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's roll over. We'll come back to you. Once they say, we promise, we'll give you the money. I promise you. Let me just give me one year. I look for money. I try sell this project. I try find a buyer for this project and then I'm going to give you your money as well of you. So this is the same information we are giving these clients. So let me tell you, when those tenors lapsed and we went back and the story was different, how do you even start? How do you start telling a, a mama who put her entire pension of 5 million, how do you start telling her that? They've told us we wait. They've told us. Yani, no, those were the ninis. And sister, I'm still one. I'm still. I feel like I lost very important networks. To co let me blame it on COVID. I can't say much, and I'm not. I'm not giving this story to throw stones at my employer. No, I enjoyed working for Cyton, and they have very nice money market fund. But the other side, I feel like. As clients, okay, I don't know, but I really want to apologize to my clients and my prospects. I sympathize with you so much. And if there's anything that I could do that could help you get at least your, or your initial investment back, I would. But that message that that customer has sent me has taken me back to a period when I'd receive even calls from clients lawyers you know telling me that the you know those legal legal things in regard to the investments and you know at the time by the way I asked my dad what should I do what should I tell the clients because I'm feeling guilty and I feel like I should do something to help them but I can't and my dad told me that I, what I was doing is I was doing my job. I had no authority over their money and I trusted that my employer would, you know, see through with whatever contract. But COVID came, man, as in, I'm just saying, being a salesperson is, can be a lot because that thing has carried me now. Two years on, the clients are still texting me that I did them wrong. I wish I wish there's something I could do. If I could sell Alma to return clients' money, I could, but I was just a foot soldier. I was just a salesperson. Have you experienced such? Like, are you a salesperson and you worked for a certain company and you know it's for a more card and you had made good friends and they turned out to be enemies because your, your mere association with their loss for lack of a better word or delay because i don't want to say they lost their money it's just that they haven't received it yet that's what they should be saying that delayed <clears throat> i mean <laughs> Imagine that was the story of the day. I felt like I was having a conversation with <laughs> with someone. But that I've even prayed about that so much. You know, just to to feel lighter. But that thing really got to me. Because I really felt bad for clients. Man, we had some amazing clients. And some two dates have Two years on, they haven't received their money, but I still hope that they will. That's the most I can do. Hope and pray that you guys are going to get your money eventually. End of my story. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
and like I said, you, you just take a take out from that story, whichever. I don't know. I just needed to let it out there. And also to make my apology public that to all my clients, I'm really sorry and I sympathize with you. And I hope that eventually things will, will be good because if they are good for you, they are good for me. At least I won't be receiving messages on 31st about you know what you reap is what you sow i was just doing my job <laughs> i was just doing my job please give this video a thumbs up and if you liked it you can suggest it to your friends if you have watched this far and you know someone who works or worked in cyton you can forward them this video because Two years on. <laughs> well, I'd be disappointed too. I'm not laughing. I am not criticizing. I'm just, you know, feeling what I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Please subscribe. Did I say that? Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And please comment. Tatakama ni emoji. Nyachata tu emoji. I mean. <laughs> tu emoji tu araf. Tu amatuda. Tu atumaji. You know. <laughs> okay. Happy New Year. I'm hoping to have posted this before 1st of January 2023. Yes. To have uploaded it. Yeah, I'm hoping to have uploaded it by first. By the time it hits midnight. Okay. Thank you, Aki, if you watched this far. Nyandikia is intensi. She sells seashells at the seashore. Write it down. Yes. They will know. Subscribe, show some love, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you in my next one.